Cheers from Japan. This is Tokyo Toy Bastard, and I uh, just got back home. Sort of. Uh, just went to the grocery store, picked up some coffee and some soda pop, and uh, got some pickups. Just got back from Nakano, and uh, got my new phone. So I'm excited to show you uh, what it looks like, and uh, show you pickups proper. All right. See you on the flip side. All right. Here I am. Uh, back at my house. I just spent the last hour trying to set up uh, a way to film this like a bit more accurately so I could, you know, kind of zoom in on things and not just be me flailing, flailing toys around in front of my face and uh, tried a, several different setups. None of them worked due to the space that I have in this room. So I'm going to go uh, Ashen style and uh, just film my hands and the things on my couch. If you're not familiar with Ashen's, it's a YouTube channel uh, run by Stuart Ashen's or Ashen. And then he just films his hands in front of his couch and he shows random things. One of my favorite channels. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, I'll try to link it in the bottom. Just just type in Ashens. It's easy to find. Anyway, um, pickups. A lot of Evangelion stuff, as per usual, uh, the last few weeks. Really trying to build up my Evangelion collection. But uh, we're, we're going to start off with the, the first couple things uh, that are not Evangelion related. And, uh, and real quick, before I jump into those, if you're wondering why I looked like a ninja or a terrorist at the beginning of the video, it's because I've started wearing those black uh, cold masks because I've got a cold and I've still got a bit of a facial rash covering that up. And I had a black hoodie on because it's fucking freezing today. So, yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure some people probably thought I was pretty shady walking around in the dark alley to get back home wearing that stuff. Anyway, first up. Shroom. Gamera, the manga. This is Gamera versus Barugon, the comic version, also known as Gamera 2.5. So this is actually an official sequel to Gamera 2, and this was uh, published to promote Gamera 3 because it kind of ties into that. And this was being drawn in 1998, and it was published in 1999. And uh, this is actually quite a large book. Um, I read through it yesterday. This is not something I picked up today at Nakano, but something I've, I have ordered. But it starts off um, at the very beginning with uh, Gamera charging up against Legion and then firing his, uh, his chest beam. And it's all drawn out in the manga, which is pretty cool. And interestingly, all of the sound effects are written out in Romaji or in, in uh, Roman characters in English. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bagoom! Bagoom! Gaga, gaga. I remember when Gamera said gaga, gaga. Agam! And then suddenly switches back to Japanese. I don't understand why. And then back to English again. I don't understand! Um, there's not a lot of monster action in this book. It's a very long manga. I mean, for what it is, like kind of a promotional thing. And Barugan, yeah, that's Barugan at the beginning. He looks totally different than he does in the uh, original series. Uh, there is some Gauss action in here. Anyway, cool little book. These are really hard to find, it seems, uh, in the in the U.S. But I found some online, and if you want to grab one for your Gamera collection, let me know, and I will try my best to pick one up. So that's that. Gamera vs. Barugan. Up next, I picked up... A Microman. Uh, you may have seen some of my Microman videos in the past. This is a bit different. This is a uh, animated series version of Microman from 1999, produced by Takara, and he's still in the capsule. I guess this was also doubles as a keychain. And you'll notice he looks very different from the Microman that I've shown in the, in the past. Uh, I'm tempted to take this off, just like yeah, let's see, I think I just slide this off. So yeah, he doesn't look like your uh, your your normal Microman figure. Uh, so yeah, this was based on an animated series where they tried to uh, essentially redo Microman uh, for a new modern audience since Microman is from the 70s. Just to give you an idea of what Microman, aka Micronauts in the US, looked like, this is uh, an example of one of the die cast figures. All the figures had similar, similar, uh, similar bodies, chest engines, or chest modules, and uh, chrome heads. They didn't all have metal bodies, but you know... They all generally looked like this kind of cybernetic spaceman type thing, and there were different versions. This, on the other hand, nothing like that. Let's uh, 
Let's get him out of the capsule here. Take a closer look. Ooh, the capsule just folds open. Okay. Don't know what this character's name is. But yeah, look at the, look at the difference there. Very different. I don't know. He's still got that kind of 90s appeal to him. Uh, but he's not metal. And I, yeah, this is definitely like a keychain figure. He, uh, he's got things that come off, but he does not art he's not articulated. They did release figures uh, that were articulated with like metal heads and magnetic feet. Uh, I think I've shown, I think I showed one of those in uh, the video I did of the Sonic bike, the Microman Sonic bike, but um, yeah, if you want to see that, I'll link that at the end, I think. All right, let's get into the Evangelion pickups. We'll start off with the small stuff first. And uh, this is pretty interesting. You ever heard of Roddy? It's like a bouncy donkey horse thing that kids can ride around on. Well, they've released an Evangelion collaboration, miniature version for some reason, God knows why. And they have them of all of the Ava units, but they also have it of the angel Satchiel. And here you can see Satchiel's face. They've even got the front of Satchiel depicted correct, like, you know, like he, it is. Like the details of like his legs. And then, uh, yeah, Ava times Rhodey. You open it up. It's got the official Evangelion license thingamajabi there. Rhodey. There's only 100 yen. I can get more of these, the different Ava units, if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, for 100 yen, I had to grab it. It was just, it was just fucking weird. Uh, next up on the 100 yen list. Got this little Kaoru. This little uh, HG uh, Kyoto. Let's see, focus Kaoru. There we go. See, look at that new camera. Look at that. Focuses so nicely. Um, yeah, I've got the other characters from this series. Didn't have Kaoru, so he, he was a buck. Came with paperwork. So I grabbed him. Nothing, nothing fancy. Not a big Kaoru fan. Prefer if he had like an Ava suit on or something, but you know, that's how he appears in the in the show at first. Alright, up next. I've actually been looking for this. Let's see. Focus. God blast you. This is the Hone Hone Evangelion. Or Hone Hone Gellion. Hone Hone Gellion. Hone Hone means uh, bones bones. Uh it's basically originally they made like dinosaur versions of these. Hone Hone Zorus, and this was an Evangelion collaboration. And uh, so they've made um, the different Ava units and angels. And some of them come with figures of the characters, like here we got Ray. And I really wanted Unit 1 and Sashiel because I collect a lot of those. And there's Unit 1, and he comes with some weapons. And these are normal color versions in white. They also did like glow in the dark, and they did like black versions. And here's Sashiel uh, with. Shinji, focus, focus, focus. No, it's not going to focus. Oh, well. Oh, there it focused. And on the back, you can see the other color variants. It'd be cool to get that one. But one good thing about this, it's not a blind box. Uh, if you look inside here, it says number two. So I just look over here. Ah, number two. So it's this set. I'm not going to open this right now because I have to put it together. But I was happy to find this little set. Uh, Mandarake, and it was only 300 yen, about three bucks. Up next, another Evangelion, Evangelion Jellion. Got a unit one. Uh, this is one of the smaller model kits, uh, one of the earlier small, smaller model kits. And you can see that this is, yeah, from the Neon Genesis Evangelion, not the rebuilds, because it doesn't have the extra green stripe. And uh, I believe this was hand painted by someone. They did a really good job. Uh, when I first saw it, I couldn't tell that it was a custom painted uh, model kit. I thought it was an actual figure that I just never seen. But yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely painted. Let me see if I can get it closer to the camera here. It was nice. I like the scale. I'm trying to get as many of these as I can. I want to have a little army of various sized unit ones. But man, camera focus. There we go. Get the autofocus going. It's on manual focus. That's the problem. But yeah, I already mentioned this is my new camera. It doesn't look better though, despite the focus issues. Film this on the cuff, so off the cuff. Not on the cuff. Oh, by the way, it's uh, he bends at the. Oh, 
He bends at the uh, he bends at the knees, kind of, sort of. And his arms move up and down. Very limited articulation. I do have another uh, Ava unit, almost the same scale. That's uh, I've picked up um, a complete set of, but I'm missing unit one. I'm going to do a review of those on their own in, in the near future when it comes in. Should come in tomorrow, actually. Up next, I got two more things, and these are the grand finale. These are two of the coolest things I've picked up in a while. Uh, first one being this guy. Reveltech Ava Unit 1 Test Type. This is for the 10th anniversary of Evangelion. So this was produced in 2006. And you can see here, this was a summer 2006. Man, this stupid. There we go. Stupid. Stupid? <laughs> stupid. Summer 2006 convention exclusive. So San Diego, San Diego Comic Con glow-in-the-dark version of Unit 1. And it looks so cool. And the box is like kind of shadowed. Like I can't really see, let's see, get the light over here. You can see uh, the figure in detail. He just looks so cool. He's got kind of like that bone color. Man, he just looks awesome. I'm gonna definitely open him up. He's got a, uh, he does have he does have weapons. The back doesn't really show him uh, as he appears in this, but you can see the weapons he comes with. So he comes with the, uh, the extension cable and uh, his knife and some guns, etc., etc. Man, I keep, I hate having to keep focusing this thing. Apologies. Uh, this is kind of a test run for this camera. I will be uh, doing a more proper review of uh, some figure lines in this coming week, so look forward to those. So this is kind of just a test before we get started with that. And the last item here. Let's see if I can get this whole thing on camera. If you watched my last video, you saw that I was starting to collect some vintage Evangelion dolls. And this is one that just came in. And it is Rei Ayanami. And she is mint in box. It looks like the box is yellow, but I assure you that was how it appeared on all four sides. So it's not sun damaged. It's either aged or it was purposely tinted so that uh, these would not be damaged uh, by the sun. The figures themselves and these were um from let me get the back here Ugh. produced by sega and takara takara are the same people that made microman hench and cyborg so i assume these were uh prizes at game centers and uh let's see this slides off the top here so we can get a look at the figure without the yellow tent look at that such a difference and i can remove oh actually i can't i don't want to take all this off right now i want to keep her displayed as she is, let me get the camera up here close. She's got the cool Nerve logo in the back. Got the real fabric clothes. She's got a real fabric uh, carrying case. Shoes, socks, the whole the whole nine yards. And I will add her with my uh, my plug suit ray by Marmot. So we got Takara and Marmot now. Just missing a few others. Well, anyway, that's it. These are my pickups. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope the camera looks a little bit better than uh, it has in the past. Definitely able to get more details and close-ups, which is great. I will be walking around a lot more uh, and doing uh, hunting videos, in-depth reviews of toys. So this is my last little pickups before I try out some of that stuff, just so I can get a feel for the camera and uh, see what works, what doesn't. So let me know what you think, like, comment subscribe let me know if you need me need me to help you find anything here in japan and uh that is all that is all it's time for dinner oh ray you fell down are you okay ray ray are you okay are you okay ray